Hi, welcome to BibleCraft. My name is Abe, and today I'm going to show you a little bit more about Zettle Depth as a program. And I want to show you how I'm doing that. And uh, last time I showed this particular program, I had a few comments about, I had at least one comment saying, I want to know the actual uh, commands you're using rather than just the uh, key bindings to know that. So I've got a program called Command Log that I can use, and it's going to show you whenever I just about, not everything, I'm trying to ignore uh, a lot of my movements as far as using the evil bind key bindings here. So um, let's jump into uh, Zettle Depth. So the way it works in Space Max, at least, is I have pressed Space D. And that's going to open up all of my commands in Zettledef. Now, here are the commands. So you can search the file for current ID. I hardly use that. That's in case your buffer has got a bunch of stuff in there and you just want to redo that. So you do a new search to clear all that out. I don't really use this one. This one follows a link after you've made it. There's two ways to insert the text there and I'll kind of preview some of that stuff. But mainly the ones that I'll use is find file. This is a much faster way than using it up here. So for instance, I'm just gonna put in like, um, I'll put in, uh, I'll put in Abraham, that'll work. So A-B-R-A-H-A-M. Now watch how long it takes for this thing to search all the instances in which Abraham is mentioned in my notes. Not just the title, but all of my notes. So there it is. So here's all the texts that mention Abraham. And that, you know, if you want to search that way, that's fine. But um, it takes a while. Now I've hit D-O and just hit Abraham. Then I can find those files almost practically instantaneously because all it's searching is the... It's just searching the titles of them. So I really like that. So that's how I can find those quickly. All right, now I've got all my notes and I've got all the chapters of the Bible here in my notes. And so I wanna show you how I do that and how I work around and, and create notes. And the reason why I'm not redoing, but showing a better explanation is for a couple of reasons. Number one, I wanted to use this command buffer so you can see um, the things that I'm using to make uh, seeing my command logs. And two, uh, after I posted this, um, the creator of this uh, package, uh, Elias, I believe his name is, he added a um, function that I really like, and I wanted to show you how that works. I'm creating notes here, you know, and uh, let's say, for instance, I want to create a note about uh, this verse one of Luke chapter three. Well, I create the note, and I can create the note by hitting space D N. Uh, and just put, you know, note on Luke 3, verse 1. And there I go. So now it's creating the note, and I uh, added these two for my notes. If I wanted to add it to the date that I made the note, although that already kind of does that with um, the file name itself. And uh, the tag for um, uh, just different tags. So for the tag, you know, I can just do uh, Luke and then Luke 3. And then I can just, you know, add a note. Okay, so there's my note. Now let's go back to here, and there's a couple of ways to add in your note. So the way that uh, Zettledep normally works, at least the way you could normally add a note, is you press space D, and then just I, and then I'd go back to Luke, a note on Luke 3 1 and hit enter and it's going to insert in the um, ID of this note and if I wanted to go back to this note from here is I just uh, have my cursor and then hit space D and then I can go to follow the link now I've never actually done this here oh there it is so there it is right there so space D F oh I see so it just opens up under a new window oh I like that um, maybe that's what it's supposed to do. So, anyways, that's how I get to that one there. But, as you probably noticed, that after a while, you, let's say if I want to add another note right here. So, space D, I, anything else on Luke here? Um, let's just say I want to put in Luke the person, and then another note, um, on Luke, uh, Luke, come to the feast. That's probably that's a sermon. So now I've got three notes there. Now I have this really long string of numbers. And if I wanted to clean it up, I can go over here. Oops. I can go over he here and uh, 
space them out, make them look nice, and but still, like that's uh, not very clean looking. And if I'm putting it in the text, if I had a bunch in the text, then it'd be kind of hard to do. So I'm gonna just delete these. And the way I used to do it is, I'd go back to this note, and let's just go ahead and um, I'd go back to this note, and org mode allows you to store links to different places so you can add them quickly to other places. And to do that is space AOL, which is org store link. Now, this link is stored in it. And to insert it here, you hit comma IL, and that is going to open up um, different ways of adding in different files or different links. So I could link to something outside, like a PDF or a reference. Um, but notice the first one is here is the link that I've already stored, which is right here. So I hit, if I hit enter, now I just, uh, there's the description. If I want to change the description, and that's just going to be the uh, hyperlink text right here. I typically just use the um, uh, asterisk, but let's just use the uh, ampersand just for today. So there's my link there. Now, if I wanted to do several notes, I could go back and find those. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to do one more because this will get a little bit tedious. So there's actually nothing even here. So stored link, go back, comma IL, and then hit enter and description. So there are my two notes there. And notice it's not very big. It's just two characters that are right there. And as you can see right here, I've got, I've been demoing this already and I've got three notes right next to each other. If this was the old way of inserting a ZLDEF note, it would be, you know, all the way across here would be just full of the notes and then the text would be after it, which gets really um, cumbersome to read after a while. So I wanted to use this org uh, store link and insert link. But the problem is, is that go back to here and space DR, which is just settled up rename. You can rename a file very quickly. So instead of uh, the Luke the, um, let's just call him Luke the physician. Now, that is probably not spelled right, but that's okay. Yeah, that's not spelled right. So we'll just leave it there for now. So that's not spelled right. And now let's go back to here is this link going to be um can i go back no this is a blank buffer right now um and there's nothing in there so that's not good and so if i would have wanted to rename a file i'm going to be in a lot of trouble so how do you fix that well i was just using um i was just going to go with it if i rename a file poorly then i just rename a file poorly and i'm not going to go back and rename the notes however um a new feature came out or uh, after I posted this video, um, the creator of Zettledeft said, hey, here, check this thing out. So he wrote a couple of code together and put together this new thing called ZD Link. So if we go back to the insert mode, like see here, I've got all these different files that I showed you before, but then you see this ZD Link. Now inside ZD Link um, or Zettledeft Link, you can hit enter, find the note that you're looking at. So Luke, the physician, and I spelled right. Hit enter and uh, change the description. Just change it to the um, ampersand sign. And there it is. And if I click it, it'll take me right there. Now, let's rename the note just for fun. So let's make sure, oops, let's make sure this thing is really not spelled right. And uh, go back. Now, is this thing going to be broken? Nope. That's the really nice feature of that. And uh, that's, to me, I think that is really fantastic uh, thing to, to mess with. And I think you'll enjoy using those notes, working them together. So I have all these notes here in Luke's uh, gospel. Now, um, let's say I want to bring up a bunch of notes on Luke just to have and, and, and to look at. I could create my own hub note, which I'll get into a little bit later as far as kind of a map to look at other notes that lead to other notes not just uh, the note for information, but to, to go somewhere else, almost like a, a hub to, to go other places. Or I can use tags. Now tags are really nice because they can let you create non-hierarchical structures of information. So non-hierarchical categories. And uh, to do open up your, to figure out what uh, tags you have is space D and capital T, which is the tag buffer. And this is gonna generate all the tags that I use as I am studying, uh, just studying in general. 
Um, so notice I've got several here. Uh, all right, yeah, I've got several here. So um, I could copy and paste this into my buffer and it'll direct me right to them. Or I can use space D and uh, just lowercase t. And that's going to jump in here. Now I've got several, well, not several, I've got enough on Luke. So Luke would be right here. And notice the way to jump into it is space G, uh, J, G. So J, G. And here are all of my notes on Luke. And I can find them and, and mess with them and play with them and that sort of thing. Now, um, the reason why ZettleDev works so well is because each file is uh, prepended with a timestamp. Now, I had to come and make some of these up because after I had, I didn't have these beforehand and I had to go back and just add them quickly. Um, and they're right here. And you have all my notes right there. And so I can jump into some of these notes here and that's how that works. All right, um, that is uh, a good explanation of how I use Zettledeft to create notes and, and work through them. I'll probably do some other videos on this topic. So if you have something else you want me to look at, I'll go ahead and jump into it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, appreciated the command there. If that works for you, maybe I should have made this a little bit bigger to see, but hopefully, um, Hopefully you'll be able to see it enough in this command line buffer to know the um, commands that I'm using. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on um, Emacs, Space Max, and studying your Bible in general. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>